brand new 2014 Jayco J Flight Swift 294 BHS. Roughly 29 foot floor plan, four bunks in the back, bunkhouse with a slide out. And uh, these are a member of the very best selling series of travel trailers. The Jayco J Flight is the number one selling travel trailer in North America since 2005 and counting. They sell basically triple the number two guy. They are, uh, they have the best warranty, uh, among the highest caliber in, in quality and customer satisfaction. They're the number two brand of second time owners. Uh, whole, you know, the list goes on. There's a reason they're, they're such a big seller. Extra things like this. It costs a couple bucks more, but this big outdoor storage compartment as compared to the ones that barely let you slide a folding lawn chair through. It's extra things like that that make these Jayco's such great sellers. Uh, we added a power package to this one, that's what grants us the power awning. It also includes a power tongue jack on the front. Um, I mentioned, but it's worth mentioning again, this does have double the warranty of any other travel trailer in its class. And it includes first year roadside assistance, big front pass-through storage. It actually snakes clear under the bed, so you can get some really big, odd-shaped, unwieldy items stored in here. <clears throat> We also updated to the technology package, which grants us the 26-inch LED television, as well as the uh, all-in-one DVD CD stereo system uh, includes an outdoor speaker setup. This is a big super slide model, four bunks in the back. Um, Jayco updated their interiors quite a bit this year, went to a more comfortable, more residential tufted sofa. They added all this nice little curvature and radius work and there is full storage under both sides of this dinette. Um, you see the uh, the big windows, our big calling card in the Jayco's. Windows are actually one of the more expensive items in RV construction and Jayco's always been a little more willing than most to uh, put some big size windows in there to get you a lot of light in your camper. Um, even in the Swift, which is their uh, I don't know, entry starter point travel trailer. They are adding these nice uh, residential touches like these light fixtures above the kitchen here. I like little accent panels they're putting in now. I think that's sharp. It's different. So many trailers look the same. I like something that looks a little different. I like the lighter countertops. It helps it be brighter and breathe in here. Now, other things to look at. Uh, full ball bearing drawer guides are becoming industry standard. Um, Jayco's, however, are 75 pound guides, not 50 pound guides. Um, this has central air. Compare that to a lot of the um, entry point travel trailers you find out there. Not all of them do, and if they do, it's probably optional, and some dealers to sell it to you a dollar cheaper, um, they will uh, they will not centralize that air. Oh, you gotta look at me. Sorry about that. Anyway. You know, wall panels around. It sounds dumb, but look at stuff like that when you're comparing different products. You're going to find that not every trailer has that. And if you don't take your towel and wipe down that wall panel every time you take a shower, you're going to waterlog that wall panel and cause water damage to your own trailer. Something that is a little bit uh, hard to detect just from this video is that these bunks on the right side of the camera are single bunks. These over here are basically like a bunk and a half. They're good bigger bunks for bigger kids. It's one of the reasons you have this huge storage under here. Um, the kids, if you notice up here, they do have their own TV hookups. So this closet back here for them can also kind of double as an entertainment stand. Speaking of closet space, something that we walk by is this big extra uh, wardrobe and linen cabinet space. It's a perfect spot to put towels because if you forget to uh, grab a towel before you get in the shower, it's right across from the bathroom. It's a perfect spot for it. Now, your Jayco's are about three inches taller on average than your common travel trailer. It's one of the reasons they, they will tend to be, uh, you know, 50, 60 pounds heavier. You're getting the room for it, though. Extra headroom in the bathroom, bigger cabinets, things like that. Um, the TV comes with a wall bracket mount. We simply keep the TVs new in the box so that you're the first people to touch them when you take it home. And it's little things like this that I like in the Jayco's. A little shoe garage. It's, it's not a big deal. It doesn't cost money. But if you're a camper like I am, you know that 
the shoes end up in this big ugly pile by the door and when you're carrying in your platter full of brats from the fire you're tripping on them all over the place well something as simple as a shoe garage will drastically alter your camping experience it'll just be that much more enjoyable you won't have those little annoyances um, something else you can't really see just by walking around this has a um, upgraded water heater standard in a Jayco is a uh, gas and electric water heater and you can flip them both on at the same time to run them on fast recharge mode uh, not every entry-level trailer will do that so give us a call 800-256-5196 Haylet Auto and RV of Coldwater Michigan